Hello children. In 1904, Japan was literally backhand slapping the USSR for control over Manchuria and Korea. This made Tsar Nicholas II very angry and he decided to send 45 ships as reinforcements. 18,000 miles around the world. Their epic voyage started from Latvia and got off to a rough start. The flagship ran aground, a cruiser lost its anchor and a fucking destroyer rammed a battleship. Yeah, we had some difficulties, but with the help of you boys, our expedition can continue- Wait, what? And the fleet was manned by farmers who had no experience at sea. Anyways, major inconveniences aside, the fleet was sailing smoothly when reports reached that there were Japanese torpedo ships stationed off the Danish coast. Yes, as if Japanese ships, like half the globe away, somehow managed to zoom there in a few days. No one even questioned this as the hysteria set in and rumors spread that the Japanese had surrounded them with submarines. To quell this, Admiral Roger Stwienski basically ordered them to obliterate any such vessel. Don't you have a bad feeling about this? Cause I sure do. Two fishermen delivering a personal message for Ro Roger Stwienski. Fuck. For fucking Rosie boy from Tsar Nicholas approached the fleet. Can you guess what happened? Yup. The entire fleet opened fire on these two poor fishermen. So we have a letter from the Tsar. Wait, didn't we blast you with like a billion rounds? Aw, oh, you and your crew playing nasty little tricks on us. Might get me to saw on my tutors next time, but not today, bliat. Anyways, big boy Nicholas told me to tell you that you're promoted to vice admiral. Wait, but I'm the admiral. Yeah, somehow the entire fucking fleet could not manage to do any significant damage to the defenseless fisher boat. Then for good measure, Kamchatka, the fleet repair ship, decided that it'll be pretty funny to signal that they were under attack by torpedo boats. Yo, help! Them torpedo boats are attacking me! Oh no, how many? Eight from all fucking directions! After winning that intense battle against the Japanese torpedo ships, they made their way to the North Sea, where they spotted a British fishing fleet, identified them as, you guessed it, Japanese torpedo ships, and opened fire. In the midst of the battle, several Russian ships signaled that torpedoes had hit them. This news caused some of the crew to wheel cutlasses, charging around and shouting as if that would do something against a fucking torpedo. Others put on life jackets and just lay down, gave up on life. The others continued firing and damaged four British ships and sunk one of them. Unfortunately, the fleet had also gunned down two of their own battleships. Anyways, this opening fire on British ships thing apparently made them really mad. So mad, in fact, that the British public demanded war against Russia. So, uh, I sent some boats your way? Mm-hmm. And, like, your ships really look like them Japanese warships, you know? Our fishing boats? Yeah. You know Japan is, like, halfway across the globe, right? Sorry. I guess the British were feeling kind, and they would help themselves to merely denying the Russians to use the Suez Canal. This meant that they now had to go all the way around Africa. So off they go, taking down Japanese torpedo ships left and right along the way, also destroying an entire city's telegraph cable with an anchor for the sake of it. Now came time to refuel, and the fleet decided to take on double loads of coal just in case. Where would they store all that coal, you may ask? Why, of course, on the fucking decks! This caused coal dust to spread throughout the ships, which could potentially cause severe, possibly fatal, respiratory problems from breathing in black air. Fortunately, there were no casualties. The crew's morale was pretty low because of the long journey, so they decided to pick up some cute pets along the way to lift their spirits up, like puppies, kittens, chicks, a poisonous snake, a crocodile, among others. The snake actually bit one of the commanders, and of course he- but fortunately, he survived. Then the refrigerated supply ship broke down, and all the rotting meat had to be thrown, which caused them to be followed by sharks was literally the world's first zoo in the ocean. Okay, this is getting ridiculous, I'll breeze over the next stuff. A supply ship came, but was loaded with 12,000 pairs of fur boots and winter coats. Perfect for Africa. Rosie boy ordered gunnery practice. None of the battleships could hit the target, except for one, which hit the ship carrying the target instead. They stopped over in Madagascar to bury crew that died of illness and fired a shell as a salute that actually hit one of the cruisers. As practice, Seven torpedoes were fired, one got jammed, five swung off target, and another circled right back, which caused all the boats to scatter in panic. Fucking finally, they come close to Japan. All ships extinguished the lights to maintain stealth. Except for the hospital ship Orel, who kept them burning in accordance with the rules of war. 
Yo, where are you from, bro? Comrades, be careful. Turn off your lights or the Japanese will spot you. The rest of the 40 ships that we sent from Russia to reinforce our troops have done so already. Did you not get the order? 4,000 Russians die, 7,000 captured, compared to 100 dead from the Japanese side. The Russians lose the war soon after in a negotiated peace. Moral of the story, don't be a fucking degenerate! Anyways, that's all for today. Thanks for watching.